Right now we're tracking all the big races in the upcoming election, and that includes the U.S. Senate race. Tonight, ABC 15 is sitting down with Mark Victor. If the name sounds familiar, it's probably from his work as a criminal defense attorney. Victor sat down with ABC 15 political reporter Mark Phillips to discuss his campaign to bring civility and morality back to Congress. One of them kisses Biden's ring, the other kisses Trump's ring. For most Arizona voters, the introduction of Libertarian Senate candidate Mark Victor came during his debate with Senator Mark Kelly and Blake Masters earlier this month. Live and let live. That's my position on every issue. In Victor's universe, live and let live means quite simply don't infringe on people's rights. Victor says a vote for him is a vote for civility, freedom and peace. People are trying to impose their own moral views on other people through the law, right? The Republicans have ideas about how you live. They want to pass laws to make that happen. The Democrats have ideas. They want to pass laws to make that happen. I don't even tell people about my personal positions because it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to get my personal positions into the law. Mark Victor knows the law. 28 years as a criminal defense attorney. This isn't even close to a kidnapping case. Including defending Elizabeth Johnson, accused in 2010 in the disappearance of her son Gabriel. The boy was never found. Victor maintains his law practice even as he pursues his candidacy for the U.S. Senate. On immigration, Victor calls for securing the border, but he also supports a pathway to citizenship. Nobody has a right to live at the expense of anybody else. So you don't get to come to America and then require that other people pay for various services and things like that. Victor says Democrats and Republicans are responsible for the nation's $31 trillion deficit and the inflation that has come with it. He supports a free market economy and tax cuts. On abortion, Victor believes the issue should be left to cities and local governments to decide, not states or Congress. Victor believes his views square with most Arizonans. I'm trying to speak to the reasonable people who are interested not in forcing their ideas on other people, but are more interested in, can we get along? Live and let live. Mark Victor hopes it's more than just a campaign slogan, but also a pathway to victory. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.